the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 108 to Samuel 16 to 17. The story of Coup d'etat to general psychology. David who fled met two kinds of people who either helped him or cursed him. Absalom adopted Hushai's strategy instead of Ahithophel's. First point. David meets a variety of people when learning away. The first person David met learning away from Absalom was Ziba, the steward of Mephibosheth. He came to meet David with food prepared. But Ziba schemed against Mephibosheth. This was indeed wicked as Mephibosheth had a disability which made it impossible for him to follow. When David heard Ziba's words, he passed on Mephibosheth's lands to Ziba. Because David was so tired and in need of food, he made a bad decision. When Ziba offered him exactly what he needed on his way. Later on, David met Shimei, who had secretly dreamed of re-raiding the tribe of Benjamin as monarchies. David furthermore met people who consoled him. Overall, David met various types of people who all in the end enabled him to see God's blessing towards him. Second point. Through Shimei's curse, David considers the effects of the Kuft Tat. Shimei was from the tribe of Benjamin, who did not accept David as king. They secretly resented this. However, there was one brave man, Shimei, who came out and started to curse David. So when Abishai heard this, he tried to kill Shimei, but David stopped him. David accepted Shimei's words and curse. David knew that this was his punishment for killing the innocent Raya. David therefore did not kill Shimei and walked away from the situation. David knew then that it was not only Shimei who disapproved of him as king. It may be that the Lord will look upon my misery and restore me to his covenant blessing instead of his curse today. Third point, Counselor Ahithophel changed the rumors about Absalom's coup d'etat to a real coup d'etat. In order to let Israel know that he was the new king, Absalom put Ahithophel at the forefront. There were a few people who had doubts about Absalom's coup d'etat and what the future held, so Absalom wanted to make sure that all was clear. So Ahithophel advised Absalom to sleep with his father's concubines to show the people that he had truly usurped power. As such, David was punished severely for killing Uriah. The first punishment was that the sword would never leave David's household, and the second was that David would also have his wife taken away. Fourth point, Hushai used the common psychology of coup d'etat to make Ahithophel's plan fail. When Hushai arrived in Absalom's territory, Ahithophel sensed that Hushai was sent by David. Absalom called both Ahithophel and Hushai to put an end to this coup d'etat. The main point was to consider how to catch David. The fate of David and Absalom now rested in the hands of Ahithophel and Hushai. Ahithophel's plan was to take 12,000 soldiers to capture David. After hearing Ahithophel's plan, Absalom now wanted to hear Hushai's plan. 
but Hushai had a plan to shake up Absalom's judgment. Hushai told Absalom that David had been very successful in hiding from Saul when he tried to capture him with 3,000 trained young men, and so this would be a bad idea. So Hushai advised Absalom to gather all of Israel from Dan to Beersheba and for Absalom to lead them. Just in case Absalom listened to Ahithophel, Hushai also made David flee somewhere else. Fifth point. When Ahithophel's plan failed, he cleared his desk and went back to his hometown to kill himself. Ahithophel sensed that Absalom agreed with Hushai. It may have been that Ahithophel knew what was going to happen when Hushai entered in the first place. When Ahithophel saw that his advice had not been followed, he saddled his donkey and set out for his house in his hometown. He put his house in order and then hanged himself. So he died and was buried in his father's tomb. We wonder why Ahithophel killed himself even though the end result had not yet shown. This was because Ahithophel knew that David would return to power. Then we wonder why Ahithophel did not warn Absalom that Hushai was David's man. This was because Ahithophel knew that if he said this to Absalom, who was a lucky politician, Absalom would just think that Ahithophel was jealous of Hushai. David knew his son Absalom and so sent Hushai. But Absalom did not know his father and so accepted Hushai. David was able to use the time earned by Hushai to flee to safety. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.